A surprising observation that came out of whole genome sequence annotations is that the number of genes in a genome does not scale with organismal complexity. For instance, the simple nematode C. elegans has 20,000 genes, and humans, which are arguably more complex, have only on the order of 25,000 or so. It's been proposed that organismal complexity is achieved, at least in part, by more intricate and elaborate genome regulation in higher eukaryotes. The specific expression of each of the genes in our genome is regulated by transcription factors. These factors often occur in large families, the members of which share similar types of DNA binding domains. During evolution, transcription factor families expand and diverge by a combination of gene duplication and mutation and this expansion usually correlates with an increase in organismal complexity. For instance, the basic helix loop helix, or BHLH family, contains 42 members in the worm and more than 100 members in humans. Transcription factors physically interact with other proteins, with specific DNA sequences and target genes, and are often expressed in discrete tissues and cell types. We refer to these various functional aspects as transcription factor parameters. In our paper, we investigated the extent of divergence for transcription factors from the BHLH family in each of three parameters, dimerization, DNA binding, and spatiotemporal expression. In addition, we wondered whether one parameter would be more divergent than another. C. elegans is a fantastic model organism because it is genetically tractable and because a wealth of genomic resources and techniques are available to study its gene expression. In collaboration with Fred Damasi and Martha Bullock, we mapped the three parameters mentioned for the C. elegans BHLH family of transcription factors. We chose these because they are important regulators of development and homeostasis, and they have previously been studied in both worms and other biological systems which allowed us to benchmark our data. BHLH transcription factors form obligatory dimers with other BHLH transcription factors and binds DNA sequences called E-boxes. BHLH transcription factors also exhibit a variety of distinct tissue-specific expression patterns in different organisms. In this example from our study, we show one BHLH transcription factor that is predominantly expressed in the C. elegans intestine and another that is almost exclusively expressed in a handful of neurons in the head of the worm. Although many instances of dimerization, DNA binding, and spatiotemporal expression patterns have been reported for BHLH proteins, systematic experimental data for all three parameters were not available for any multicellular organism. Thus, to address the question of transcription factor divergence, we comprehensively mapped each of the parameters in a systematic manner. We compiled the results from our experiments into a single integrated network, allowing us to visualize all our data at once. We also used the DNA binding specificities to computationally predict target genes, and then used these target genes to derive functional annotations by gene ontology. This information is also incorporated in the network. It is important to note that all three datasets resulted in many interesting insights of their own. We suggest that you read the paper for further details. To compare all BHLH transcription factors to each other with respect to each parameter, we calculated what we call a similarity score for each pair of BHLH proteins and for each parameter, where a value of 1 indicates 100% similarity and a value of 0 indicates no overlap. We then binned the similarity scores, as you can see in this graph. We found that most BHLH proteins are quite distinct from each other, and are distinct most frequently in all three parameters. As you can see, 80% of all BHLH-BHLH pairs exhibit little or no overlap in most parameters. The slight difference that you may observe for spatiotemporal expression is due to the different degrees of resolution that we attained in our expression annotations. This is discussed in more detail in the paper. Overall, our data indicate that C. elegans BHLH transcription factors are remarkably distinct from each other even though they share similar DNA binding domains, and that there does not seem to be any one parameter that contributes most to the process of functional transcription factor divergence. We hope that our approach will provide a framework for studies of protein evolution in other transcription factor families in both worms and other organisms, 
and perhaps for other protein families as well.